It's been a debate for years in Worcester. Right now, the city has a dual tax rate, but some say a single rate may be better for businesses, while others are concerned what it will mean for homeowners. Our Chandler Walsh joins us now with more. Chandler. Olivia, over the past several weeks, some surrounding communities have moved to a single rate or closer to one. Ahead of Worcester's vote, the Chamber of Commerce is hoping businesses get some relief. The Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce says slowly moving to a single tax rate could help take the burden off businesses. The suggestion comes ahead of an upcoming city council vote. It's everyone paying you know, their fair share, and if we want to grow jobs and expand the tax base, this is a factor. Chamber President and CEO Tim Murray says the commercial tax rate has increased the past three years. He says he's especially concerned about how it impacts manufacturing in the city. During that same period, uh, we've seen you know, several prominent manufacturers, uh, in part because of cost and taxes are, are a major factor in that, move outside of the city. The town of Webster has been closing the gap between commercial and residential the past several years and just approved a single rate. Town Administrator Doug Willardson says a big reason was to bring more businesses into town. To encourage uh, people to come to our historic downtown to have businesses open up in uh, some of our business plazas. Uh, so it, it's always been a focus on being business friendly and uh, welcoming. But the possibility of Worcester moving closer to a single rate isn't without concerns. Mullen Sawyer is the president and CEO of Oak Hill Community Development Corporation. He says homeowners face extreme high costs and a higher tax bill could only make things worse for them. They're spending 30 to 50 percent of their total income on housing and that makes it extremely non-sustainable and puts them at risk. Sawyer says finding the right tax rate is all about balancing both sides. So that we get a, a tax rate that's good for people who live in our community and work and invest in our community. It's got to be both. Mullen says there's a serious housing shortage in the city, especially when it comes to affordable housing. He says housing is critical and about to get worse. City Council is scheduled to vote on the tax rate next Tuesday. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.